How many times have you produced a boring, mundane layout like this? Or maybe, how about this, the two column counterpart to predictable and boring layouts? Well, I'm gonna show you a technique that allows you to create really unique layouts without having to think too much about the layout structure. It involves using a tool that I helped build along with my buddy, Jip, and it's a layout generator. It generates random columns and rows, and I'm going to show you how to use it, and then in time-lapse, use it myself to create a really unique layout. So, let's get started. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy. All right, so here's how we use this tool. Make sure to click the top link here in the YouTube description, or maybe the second link, I forget what it's gonna be, and you'll get to this code pen demo, and here is the layout generator that I've shown before. And what's really cool is that I uh, basically, it allows you to see all these different potential layout patterns and you can increase the number of cards up here um, and you can see it updates in real time so you can just get random like infinite ideas in terms of layout structure and you could also specify the number of columns so if you only want to stick with two columns you're not going to get you know layout i mean this is actually pretty interesting some of these and of course none of them are set in stone i you can play around with them so if you find something that's almost kind of similar to what you might want then go with it you, and you're gonna see that when I once I get this and paste it into Figma as kind of like an underlay on top of the design I, I create, that you know we can merge these these cells together based on the needs of our project. So looking through this, I actually think this area is pretty cool. So it's like a three column approach, and we have one, two, three essentially rows as well. So like a three column, three row approach. This could potentially work for something um, that could be really interesting, just like this section right here in and of itself. And in fact, I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use and force myself to try to create a layout that's very similar to this uh, based on a fictional project that we generate with ChatGPT. All right, so here I am in ChatGPT. We have GPT-4 and it ChatGPT is an excellent resource for many different uses. And one of them is just for generating fictional uh, project briefs for the purpose of experimenting, you know, with layouts and getting better, and also text. You know, so instead of like relying on lorem ipsum, you can use ChatGPT to create just like filler text that's actual te text and not Latin that nobody can understand. Uh, so right here is the prompt I'm about to issue this. Help me create a fictional internet business outline for the purpose of creating website layout. Your response should include a niche along with a fictional business name and bullet points about what makes this service great and unique. That'll be enough content for us to go ahead and create something you know that works well. And then maybe as a bonus, I'm not sure, I may use Midjourney to generate image-based assets for the layout. We'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna hit enter and we're gonna see what this creates. So I'm gonna zoom up here, sustainable and eco-friendly travel. Okay, green path voyages. All right, website layout, stunning banner image featuring a, a serene eco-tourist spot. Business tag tagline, travel the world, tread lightly. That's actually pretty good. Uh, brief intro, experience the world in its nat 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 natural beauty and the sustainable travel options that give back. Search bar for eco destinations or experiences, testimonials, blah, blah, blah. We don't have to stick with this, um, but right here, it's giving us enough content to, to work with uh, to easily you know, create the layout based on that scaffolding that we just used. So here's a screenshot paste of the layout structure from the layout generator, and I'm just recreating the rectangles here in Figma. And the first thing I wanna get up here is a simple three column navigation with a logo, navigation, and call to action. Now, what I'm gonna use is just various pieces of type along with Midjourney, which is a generative uh, photo-based AI, and I'm creating vector illustrations that are going to be used in this layout. And as you can see, it's simply just a matter of taking these assets, placing them in various areas of the layout structure in terms of the columns and rows, and then just experimenting with placement based on the needs of the business and the content that was generated. As the layout becomes filled in with more and more content, you can start to refine the layout more with some final adjustments.
All right, and there we go. This is the layout that I came up with by using that layout sort of column row scaffolding. Uh, if I have it on top, you'll see um, I didn't exactly follow, you know, what we had, but for the most part, if I were to, you know, let's drag this down, put this over the top, and then maybe reduce the opacity, you'll see for the most part, I stuck with the general concept. Like I didn't have two different rows right here. I didn't have two different uh, columns over here. So I simplified it a bit based on the needs and based on what ChatGPT provided me. But overall, it really provided me with a, a unique layout that I wouldn't have come up with otherwise. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, make sure to check out the UI UX design course where you learn tips like this and much, much more at designcourse.com forward slash UI UX. There is a coupon here in the top link of the description. And hopefully you found, like I said, that useful. And I look forward to producing more content. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.